Sorry, I'm a little bit of a mess, guys. Sorry for that. I'm not really feeling so hot. Michael, 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 where do we start? Let's start with Sunny and Michael. Yep, I have to agree with Brock. Not, not only did I say yesterday that Michael, he didn't say this, I said this yesterday. He said yesterday that Michael didn't even bother to care about what happens to his, well, maybe he didn't say care, but he didn't notice. He said he didn't notice that his wife is sick. Well, I'm going to add he didn't care. I'm going to add not only did he not care, he fails to see that his wife is sick. Which is what Brock said. So I agree with him on that one. He also said, and I remember this because I heard him say this yesterday, that not even if Gladys were to suggest, which she did, she did suggest that they put their differences aside, which is also what Willow suggested as well. Nope, Michael did not do that today at all. No, nope. no. Nope. No, no, not at all. Then we're going to move on to Dex and Dante, which was asking about how he got the bruises and that a concerned citizen, a.k.a. Jocelyn, we all know Miss Carly 2.0, but her nose in where it doesn't belong, obviously. Yes, I know I'm wearing a little uh lamb whatever. I help it with lambs on it. I don't care at this point. <laughs> Excuse me. Um then we got uh Ava, Trina, Nicholas, and the skank from hell. Well, oh, and Victor, and the bodyguard, and Lucy. Well, Victor is still thinking about his own personal interest, as always. Idiot. There's a lone a lunatic killer on the loose. And his many friends. Or someone else. Mm, I can still say it's just my friends. Mm. Sorry, my little sore guys. And then we've got Anna, Robert. And, again, Victor, a.k.a. Asquad. These guys haven't learned all of their lesson at all. Oh, and, of course, um, Nina. Yeah, th th this, this is a dumpster fire. This is a complete dumpster fire. They're gonna catch this crick, this criminal, this mistress of torment. That's what I call a, uh, Esme. Yep, mistress of murder and mayhem and chaos. And I liked Brock's comment he made about how he was going to quote Peter Griffin. It really grinds my gears. Well, it really makes me want to light a fire under Esme and make her roll down the river through the woods off to Grandma's house and have a wolf eat her and then spit her out. 
could eat her again and spit her out. They rush over a roasted fire, eat her, spit her out, and then poop her out. But in other words, I don't like Esme. Why can't bad guys just stay dead? It's like watching the female version of Mitch Lawrence. Oh, God. <sighs> Almost makes me wish, but I cannot believe I'm actually saying this. Almost makes me wish that I'm listening. Dare I say it? Silent. Cyrus. I actually miss Michael E. Knight, a.k.a. Martin Gray. I just hope no one gets end up dead again.